Hello, and welcome to Parker Dam State Park in uh, northern Clearfield County, Pennsylvania. You're inside our maple sugaring shack where we uh, make a lot of maple syrup as an interpretive program here at the park throughout the month of March. What I'd like to do in this segment is talk a little bit about reverse osmosis. What reverse osmosis does for us is it can remove about 75% of the water from the sap before it ever goes into our evaporator. And keep in mind, what we're trying to get rid of when we're boiling in the evaporator is indeed water. So by removing 75% before it ever hits the evaporator, we can save time, fuel, and end up with a lighter grade of syrup often. How it works in this case is we have a, a viewing tube here that allows us to see how much sap is in our tank there's also a feed line that feeds down into that. What I'll do is I will plug in my evaporator, or not evaporator, the, uh, the reverse osmosis here basically, and here's a small high pressure booster pump that will draw that sap in and pump it through our pre-filter. The pre-filter is here to get rid of any debris or things that might damage the membranes in the RO units themselves. From there it travels into the first reverse osmosis tube. From there, it's subjected to pressure. Over here, we have a needle valve that allows us to control the pressure. Um, but we're slowing that sap flow down under pressure so that the water molecules can pass through those membranes into the center and drop into a permeate line. In other words, only the water is passing through those membranes. The other molecules, the sugar, the calcium, magnesium, all those things continue to travel through into the next RO and into the next RO until that becomes very concentrated. Again, we're removing about 75% of the water and our concentrate then moves up into a tank up above here. That's what this line is feeding from. So <clears throat> when we're turning this on, we're just dumping the water, most of it. We have a small tank that saves about 20 gallons of purified water so that when we're done, we can flush out these membranes. But we're just trying to get rid of it. So the rest of it just goes out a, uh, a tube in the top and empties outside. The concentrate is what we're trying to save here. And again, we're going from about 1.4% sugar in the sap to sometimes 5 and 6% in the concentrate. So we're way ahead of the game as far as boiling. It does save us time, fuel, and again, a lighter grade of syrup. Um, this is something that you would see if you come out to our maple sugaring operation um, every Saturday and Sunday in March um, at 2 o'clock. That's what we do. So if you have questions about this or are curious, um, feel free to check us out. Uh, we also will have other segments up on our sugaring operation. We're doing this primarily so that when we Skype to our schools, we have a distance learning session that we Skype from our sugar brush to different schools around the world. Uh, that they are able to, perhaps, if they can't spend a whole lot of time for the full program, they can get ahead of the game on some of the different particulars of our operation. All right, thank you very much, and hope you learned a little bit.